Today, we've got some exciting news about Samsung's upcoming One UI 7.0 update based on Android 15. There's a lot to unpack, especially concerning the camera app, which has received a major redesign. Let's dive right in. Samsung has always been at the forefront of smartphone innovation and with One UI 7.0, they are set to make a big leap forward, particularly with the camera app's design. According to a leap by tipster at Chum 8888, we now have our first glimpse at the redesigned camera app and it's looking quite promising. The new design aims to enhance one-handed usage, a feature that many users will appreciate. The screenshots reveal a layout where all the key controls are positioned within easy reach at the bottom of the screen. This includes camera modes, quick controls, and zoom shortcuts, making it much more user-friendly, especially on larger devices. As you can see from the leaked images, the camera app has undergone a significant transformation. One, zoom controls. The zoom controls are now conveniently placed for quick access, ensuring you can easily zoom in and out with just one hand. Two, quick controls bar. A new quick controls bar appears at the bottom, providing access to essential settings like flash, timer, aspect ratio, image resolution, and more. This bar is horizontally scrollable, allowing you to quickly adjust settings without diving into the main menu. Three, Camera modes. The placement of camera modes is now customizable. You can rearrange shortcuts for modes like dual recording, hyperlapse, night panorama, portrait, portrait video, pro, pro video, single take, and slow motion according to your preference. Four, night mode indicator. The night mode indicator is prominently placed at the bottom right corner, making it easy to switch modes in low light conditions. Notably, the navigation bar buttons remain unchanged, preserving the familiar navigation experience. In addition to the functional changes, One UI 7.0 also introduces a new icon for the camera app. The current red colored icon is being replaced with a sleek white slash gray design featuring a camera lens and a red LED indicator. This new icon aligns with Samsung's minimalist aesthetic, though it may present some challenges when paired with material you themes, which dynamically adjust colors based on the wallpaper. While the camera app redesign is one of the highlights, One UI 7.0 promises a host of other exciting features. Here are some of the rumored additions. One, user-friendly features and One UI 7.0 seems to continue that tradition. The emphasis on one-handed usability in the camera app is the thoughtful touch, especially in an era where smartphones are getting larger. The new icon design, though potentially challenging with certain themes, reflects a modern and streamlined approach. If the rumored features like smooth animations, 3D icons, and improved Bixby materialize, One UI 7.0 could set a new standard for Android interfaces. It's clear that Samsung is not resting on its laurels and continues to innovate and improve the user experience. What are your thoughts on these changes? Are you excited about the new camera app design and other features? Let me know in the comments section below. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed this sneak peek into One UI 7.0, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more updates on the latest tech. As always, See you in the next video. Today, we've got some exciting news about Samsung's upcoming foldable smartphones. If you're a tech enthusiast, you're definitely going to want to stick around for this one. We're talking about the highly anticipated Galaxy Z Fold 6 series, and more specifically, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra, which is rumored to be coming to China and Korea. Let's dive right in. Among the many Galaxy Z Fold 6 models that are currently in development in Samsung's labs, the one that has everyone buzzing is the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. Now, if you're familiar with Samsung's ultra-branded smartphones, you know they are designed to be the best of the best, offering high-end features and cutting-edge technology. While the standard Galaxy Z Fold 6 is expected to bring some minor incremental upgrades, all eyes are undoubtedly on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. However, here's the catch. The Ultra isn't expected to get a global release. But don't worry, it seems this powerhouse of a device won't be restricted to just Samsung's home country, South Korea. According to the folks over at Android Headlines, Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra could also be launching in China. This is particularly interesting because it seems the rumored Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim, which we've been hearing about with its slimmer body, bigger displays, and larger battery, might actually be the Chinese variant of the Fold 6 Ultra. If this is true, it would clear up some of the confusion we've seen in recent weeks about how many models Samsung is actually working on. It might just be two the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra, the Ultra, limited to Korea and China for now, would allow Samsung to gauge interest levels before potentially bringing it to a wider audience. In China, the Z Fold 6 Ultra may be sold as the Samsung Go E25, complete with unique visual touches like decorative engravings on the hinge, similar to previous Samsung Gilead smartphones. 
And here's another interesting tidbit. China might also get the Galaxy Z Flip 6 as the W25 Flip. This is speculative at this point, but it aligns with rumors that Samsung is also working on a Galaxy Z Flip 6 Slim. Now, unfortunately, there isn't a lot of detailed information about what exactly the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra will offer compared to the Z Fold 6. This is probably because the Ultra model isn't launching alongside the standard model, but we can expect more details to emerge once the standard Galaxy Z Fold 6 goes official at Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked event next month. Samsung's Galaxy Unpacked events are always full of surprises and we can't wait to see what they have in store for us this time. Will the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra live up to the hype? Will it bring groundbreaking features that set apart from the standard model? Only time will tell. To be an upgrade. While rumors suggest a larger display and a slimmer design, the lack of S Pen support might be a deal breaker for some users. Ross Yanon also mentioned that production for the Z Fold 6 Ultra's display panels might begin later this year, with a launch expected in January alongside the Galaxy S25. This staggered release makes sense. It avoids competing with the July launch of the regular Fold 6 and keeps the Ultra exclusive to South Korea for now, which might frustrate international buyers. Speaking of launches, rumors suggest the next Galaxy Unpacked event might be happening on July 10th in Paris, France. However, Tipster E-Leak's list of expected reveals didn't include the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra. Does this mean no Fold 6 Ultra this year? Probably not. E-Leak's list might only include devices launched leaked photo a few days ago, Looks a bit cheap and out of place on a flagship smartphone, expected to cost over $1,500. The device in the picture also appears to be wider than the current Galaxy Z Fold models, suggesting that Samsung is increasing the display size. However, the screens won't be significantly bigger. Samsung is reportedly saving the major display size upgrade for the Galaxy Z Fold 6 Ultra and Galaxy Z Fold 6 Slim models, which are rumored to launch alongside the standard Z Fold 6 this year. Now, let's move to the front. The first hands-on image of the Galaxy Z Fold 6 has leaked and reveals that Samsung has finally listened to Galaxy Z Fold users. The new foldable phone will feature a wider cover screen compared to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. Reliable tipster Ice Universe shared this full image showing the front of the device and comparing it to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. As you can see, the upcoming foldable phone will have a wider cover screen that matches the width of the Galaxy Z Fold 5's cover screen plus one of its bezels. This wider cover screen should improve the typing experience on the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and resolve aspect ratio issues in some apps and games. The new foldable also appears to have much sharper corners for both the body and the cover screen. A tipster shared a photo that seems to show a new camera module for the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. Although the leak only indicates that the camera module will feature a new design, it's doubtful Samsung would implement a design change without also upgrading the camera hardware. Here we have the first look at the new Galaxy Z Fold 6 outer display. A Twitter user named Ali recently shared a render comparing it to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. According to Ali, the new outer display features a boxier design and a slimmer hinge, significantly enhancing a Fold 6 overall appearance. The most noticeable difference between the Fold 5 and Fold 6 is the wider cover display. The render clearly shows what do you think about these changes? Are you excited about the wider cover screen and new design? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the latest tech news. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.